Breaking news, Consumer Reports have found high levels of lead in many protein powders and shakes. I've been asked to cover this about a hundred times, so let's dive into what they actually found and assess whether it's something to be concerned about. Time school. So they tested 23 protein powders and ready to drink shakes, and they found more than two thirds of the products exceeded their so-called safe level set by the California Prop 65 law. That level being 0.5 micrograms of lead a day, and they called out specific names like Naked Nutrition and Huel Black Edition, Garden of Life, Momentus, Muscle Meds, and Optimum Nutrition. Now, the first thing to understand is that exposure to lead is unavoidable. It exists everywhere. It's in the air, water, soil, and practically all foods contain heavy metals, including meat, fish, eggs, fruits, vegetables, and so on. Data taken from the total diet study of metals and other elements in food for the UK Food Standards Agency, we can calculate that a whole foods meal of meat, potatoes, and green veggies can contain around three to five micrograms of lead, which is already several times higher than their so-called safe level. If we look at the European Food Safety Authority data on lead, adults naturally consume between 0.36 to 2.43 micrograms per kilogram of lead per day, which equates to 25 to 170 micrograms of lead a day for a 70 kilogram adult through their normal dietary intake. Consumer Reports said the highest samples tested were 7.7 .7 and 6.3 micrograms per serving, being the Naked Nutrition Vegan Mass Gainer and the Huel Black Edition respectively. Notice how they don't actually make the number clear here, they only give you some big scary percentage value like 1200%. It's interesting. Now, even based on these isolated tested samples, which differ from third-party testing for these companies, they are still well below the EFSA's benchmark dose lower confidence limits. As we can see here, the first signs of kidney damage are seen at 0.63 micrograms per kilogram a day, which for a 70 kilogram adult, it's 44 micrograms. And for cardiovascular effects, to see just a one millimeter of mercury increase in blood pressure, you'd need 105 micrograms a day. So every single protein shake tested was several, if not dozens of times lower than the lowest dose needed to cause any kind of harm long term. The California Prop 65 levels are so ridiculously low and unscientific that pretty much every single food in the grocery store would exceed that level when consumed as part of a meal. So basically, according to Consumer Reports, nothing is safe to eat. What a joke. Bear in mind guys, this is not the first time Consumer Reports has wildly exaggerated safety levels and fear-mongered products. I've previously covered their claims around dark chocolate and several other topics. So, before believing sensationalized headlines, make sure to look a little deeper. Pass dismissed.